Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome into Brian's Badass Reviews. It is maybe the one or two weeks of the year in deep south Texas that it actually gets down below 40 degrees. For us, that's a little bit chilly. I know that's nothing for the rest of the country with the snow flying and the sub-zero temperatures and everything, but for us, it's just a little bit chilly and all this talk about being chilly made me want to make some chili. I'm gonna be kind of winging it a little bit. I'm not normally allowed in here uh, because when I come in here and I try to do stuff, uh, usually bad things happen. Burning spatulas to the stove, dropping stuff all over the floor, just making a mess. So I got the ingredients already. I'm gonna show you how I do it. It's quick, simple, easy, cheap recipe, but the chili comes out tasting delicious. So let's make some chili. <laughs> Alright, as you can see here, I have got about two tablespoons of chili powder. I got about two tablespoons of cumin. That is about a half a teaspoon of black pepper. That is a teaspoon and a half of salt. Got a pound of ground beef. I'm gonna chop that onion up. And here's the big question. Should your chili have beans or not? Seems to be the big debate no matter where you go across the country. Well, come down here to Texas and they might just kick you out if they find chili in your beans, which is weird because there's a lot of bean eating going on down here. Uh, beans are delicious. Why would you not want them in your chili? And then what about those people that put noodles in their beans? <laughs> That's just weird. I got some kidney beans here. I got a little bit of tomato sauce because I forgot the tomato paste. And then this is a little secret that I'll talk to you about in a little bit. And yep, this right here is, without a label for some reason, a can of Campbell's tomato juice. Got a little olive oil in the pan. We're gonna cut up this onion. We're gonna throw the ground beef in, and then we're gonna kind of just dump all the rest of that stuff in there. We're gonna get her nice and mixed up, gonna let it stew, gonna let it boil. How much of each thing I'm supposed to put in, I don't know. We're just gonna kind of take it as it goes. Here we go, let's do this. <laughs> I'm not crying because I'm cutting onions. That's just my impression of Cowboys fans. Because the Packers beat them again. <laughs> Burn! I like to chop the onions up as small as I can because the daughter doesn't really like onions. So if I can get them to dissolve into the olive oil that I put in here and make them disappear, that helps her not freak out when she's eating them. Here we go, into the pot. <laughs> Throw those into the pot there. Here, we're just gonna saute them, get them pretty much liquefied. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in the burger. It's already smelling pretty good just with the onions in here. So I think what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go ahead and throw the burger in. And we will go ahead and break that burger up. We'll get this kind of broken up and then we'll stir it around and then we'll just kind of let that cook with the burger brown. We should be in good shape to start adding the rest of the ingredients. coming along nicely here it's starting to brown up we got quite a bit of grease in there i might just drain a little bit of that out these kidney beans they got some liquid in them i'm actually going to drain that out and i'm going to rinse them off i'm just going to dump them right in there the other can dump those in there oh my god it's going to be so many beans 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 the magical fruit the more you eat the more you toot <laughs> get a little water going on these we'll just bring up here we'll just rinse them all up See all that brown going in there. So the burger is pretty good and browned. I don't see much pink. Well, there's a little pink in there. We'll let that go for a little bit longer, I guess. Uh, make sure we get everything cooked real well. And then I'm probably, oh, there's a little more pink. Uh, it's not quite ready yet. I like to leave it a little chunkier. Some of these big chunks, it's just good. I don't like to cook it down like a taco meat, but you can see there's quite a bit of leftover grease in there. I'll get that drained out and then we will add all of this stuff. That's when the magic really starts to happen. <laughs> Reason 100 why I can't be in the kitchen. Look at that. Doing the dishes, 
Broke the damn measuring spoon. All right, so the chili has been brewing for about 30 minutes. It smells delicious in here. So let's get a little bit of chili in this bowl, plate it up, and have ourselves a taste. <laughs> crackers already. We got our cheese out. Got a little bit of cheese in here. Get the crackers going. There's the thumbnail. All right, let's see how we did here. I added a little more crackers. I added a little more cheese. First one was just for thumbnail purposes only. And I am excited to get into this. Came out with really good consistency. I like my chili a little thicker. I don't like it soupy. Smells delicious. Let's have a taste. Looks really hot. Mm. Just a nice mix, a nice meld of flavors. You can taste the cumin, you can taste the chili powder, the magic chili sauce and beans and everything is just so good. Super simple to make. Nothing like a nice and hearty hot bowl of chili on kind of a chilly fall evening. Now, I would play it up. I do apologize to anybody that has to be around me the next week or so because I think we know what happens. Tell me what you guys think down in the comments. I know there's a million different ways to cook chili. I know there's a million different recipes out there, a bunch of different things that you can put in your chili. How do you guys like to cook it? I'd be interested to know. This is just very simple, uh, very good, super quick, tastes delicious. And let's hash out this debate down in the comments section. Should chili have beans or no beans? I like mine with beans. That's all I got for the review today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully it was somewhat entertaining, kind of helpful. You guys know what I like to say. You gotta be kind to each other. You gotta do what makes you happy. That's it for me. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.